What's up guys, it's Leroy coming at you today from Happy Trailers. I'm out here in Waco today and I've got a really sweet custom ordered PJ trailer that I just have to show you. It's only like 108, 109 degrees today so just sit back on your comfy couch in the living room and watch me sweat away as I show this thing to you but let's check it out. So we're looking at a 40 foot long LY model from PJ. LY is the hydraulic dovetail. This thing is a hot shot loaded out trailer. That's specifically what it was ordered for and let's just check it out. You've got the Demco Easy Latch Coupler in the front. PJ's Pro Beam neck. It's got the spare tire mounted up there. And it's got the winch plate right here as well. Now along with the winch plate, I should show you here in this toolbox, it's also got charge wires. So for the winch plate, if you were to add a winch and a separate battery, it's already got the charge wires so that it will charge that battery when you're plugged into the truck. You got the chain tray right here for the chain hook. Nice deep front toolbox. As you can see, it's got the monster jacks, push button jacks, it's so nice. Pull out step, let's hop up here. Give you a better view. Here in the front of the neck, it's gonna be the brake actuator. This one's got electric over hydraulic disc brakes. And you'll see on each side too, it's got these really nice loading lights. They swivel every which way. Just push button here to turn on and off. Such a nice feature. All right. So coming down the driver's side, we've got lots of boxes. This first box here is gonna be the hydraulic box for the hydraulic monster jacks. Push button up and down. As you see, it's got the straps along the side. So this is on the sliding ratchet track. You've got 10 four inch straps to go along with it. Got one extra 45 inch toolbox for all of your extra chains, straps, whatever you may need. And a little farther down the side, you're gonna see another hydraulic box. This is for that 10 foot hydraulic dovetail in the back. 14 ply tires, Lippert suspension, Valcrum caps. As you can see, there's no springs. This is air ride suspension. Give you a little view of the cylinders for that hydraulic dovetail. This dovetail is 10 foot long. It's got a lift capacity of 10,000 pounds, but as you can see right here, they don't want more than 4,000 pounds of weight for highway use. Keep that in mind. All right, now that we're here on the passenger side, you're gonna see right in front of the axles, the Air Ride Box Pro Max. Standalone system, it's got its own battery. You can see the compressor here. And you can see that the pump is turned on right now. It's sitting at 100 PSI. The pressure switch turns this thing on when it goes below 90 PSI. And simply pull on the lever here to dump the bags. Very simple to use system. Let me get underneath it a little bit here as well. You can see your air tank in between the axles right there. Very clean. A little farther up the side here, you've got another 45 inch toolbox, also empty, ready for all the storage. And up at the front on the passenger side, you've got an eight foot long wood rack. Tons of dunnage you can fit in there. These hydraulic dovetail trailers are some of my favorite in terms of functionality and ease of use. You can do so many different loads with this kind of trailer. Uh, you guys that are in the hotshot world, you can tell me more about what you like or dislike about these hydraulic dovetail trailers. I've seen a lot of great success with them. Tell me what you think. Let me know if there's any options that this guy may have missed out on, but I'm pretty happy with this build. The white looks so clean. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys for the next one.